Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Tenvas. In the last session, we discussed so completely a theoretical approach of a queue implementation. Now, in this session, we will see how to perform operations on a queue. Operations means how to insert an element into queue, how to delete an element from the queue, and how to traverse all the elements. Okay, see here. Here it is a queue implementation, queue implementation using static arrays. Heading is queue implementation using static arrays. So static arrays means what the fixed in size, queue size is a fixed size will not change. So, that is what we called a static array, right? How to implement? First, declaration of a queue is very, very important. Declaration of queue. Size is a fixed size. Suppose here, here it is I am declaring one queue, int, int queue, the size is a 5 or more clearly if you want to write with the help of preprocessor directive, hash define hash define the capacity, capacity is a 5, that capacity we are writing here, capacity that is, this is declaration. So, globally you have to declare a variable, so then it will get memory allocation with the size is a 5. So, we can insert 5 elements, so maximum because here it is a size is a fixed size. And next one, two more variables we have to declare. So, what are the variables means? If you want to insert or if you want to delete, mostly Q operations we need to perform, Q operations we need to perform with the help of two variables, front and rear. Because insertion of elements into the queue is possible through rear and next one deletion is possible through front. Right, physically we can say that, right, from the rear we are inserting the elements into the queue and from the front we are deleting the elements from the queue. But programmatically how can we show? By declaring variables only. So, here we are declaring two variables, one is a int front equals to 0 and next one int rear equals to 0, int front equals to 0 and int rear equals 0. Initially, front and rear both are pointing to the first location 0 and 0. Okay? And remember whenever front and rear is equals to 0, so that is what we called Q is empty. We are not inserting any elements yet. So, initially here it is, it is pointing 0 and rear is also pointing to 0th location. Okay? So, based on these variables these variables, how to perform insertion operation, deletion operation and next one display operation, observe here. Suppose, this is a queue, the size is a 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and index, index. Initially, the front value front value is a 0 and rear value is a 0. Now, all the three functions I am writing side by side. Here it is first one is a insert function, how to insert an element into the queue, insert function. Second one is a how to delete an element from the queue, delete and next one, how to traverse elements, traverse is nothing but displaying the elements. So, total three functions, all the three will discuss. So, first of all, if you want to insert the elements, insert and delete both are we are writing. Suppose, if you want to insert elements into the queue, we need to check Q is full or not, 
for insertion because if q is already full you cannot insert the elements. In the same way suppose if you want to delete the elements then we need to check q is empty or not because if q is empty we cannot delete the elements from the q ok. See here it is we are checking if if on some condition to declare local variables leave some space if based on some condition we do not know condition as of now here it is a printf printf q is full the situation will come but when it will come we do not know that we will see but we are writing the condition else we are inserting the elements in the same way in case of deletion also if if now on some condition we need to check printf q is empty so you cannot perform a deletion operation on the q we cannot perform deletion operation because q is empty na no element is there to delete sir when sir very clear observe here whenever front value is equals to rare because front equals to 0 and rare equals to 0 right so then simply here we are writing q is empty whenever front equals to rare q is empty q is empty and next one in case of a traverse also I want to display the elements same story first we need to check right q contains elements or not if suppose no elements simply we are printing q is empty q is empty this is right insert delete a traverse but here sir what is the condition that you will understand slowly in the else part else part suppose if space is there initially front is pointing to the 0th location and rare is also pointing to 0, 0th location front and rare now I want to insert the elements so we are asking here it is suppose we are declaring one variable element just read that element directly I am writing actually here we have to write a printf and scanf right we are reading that element after reading that element we need to insert we need to insert that element into this location sir which variable we have to use sir front is also pointing to the first location rare is also pointing to the first location na? which variable we can use can I use a front no because in algorithm strictly specified that right all the insertion operations from rare only so variable rare variable only you have to use so here that element whatever the element you read that will be stored into q of rare that will be stored into q of rare because q is pointing to this array element suppose 10 consider that will be stored into rare rare value is a 0 na yes so that will be stored here after that we should move the rare position to insert the next element here simply rare value is increased by 1 rare plus plus this is simply insertion next suppose they want to insert one more element they want to insert one more element then what will happen so very simple again insert function will call if condition later because some more elements are there and rare value is a one increased now rare is pointing to second location nothing but first index number second location now we are reading the element using printf and scanf functions next element will be collected into q of rare q of rare means what now this is the location next rare value will be increased rare value become 2 next rare is pointing to this location location third element insertion and here it is a it will store 30 next rare value become 3 next rare pointing to fourth location next element insertion 40 rare value become 4 next fifth element insertion rare is pointing to next location 
fifth element and the rare become 5 rare become 5 so whenever rare is a 5 rare is pointing to the next location which is not present rare value is a 5 so q is full na? whenever rare value is equals to 5 5 is nothing but a capacity whenever rare is equals to capacity capacity of a q of the q so then we can say that q is full we can say that q is full this is simply insertion condition we can keep on inserting so finally right the rare value is equals to the capacity by that time if block will execute not else block because so there is no place to insert the next element sixth element insertion there is no space ok so this is inserting an element into the queue so finally rare value is a 5 rare value is a 5 now there is no option to insert so we are deleting just consider we are deleting or we can display also so first we will see a traverse traverse very simple if you want to display all the elements first we have to check elements are present or not elements are present or not we have to check suppose here it is if front is equals to rare we already discussed that if both are equal right in the initial stage whenever you start whenever you declare the variables by that time front value and rare value both are same so by that time no elements inside the queue that we can say that uh, queue is a empty now in the else block we are displaying all the elements displaying and here it is we are just giving the message printf q elements are q elements so many elements will be present then how can we print just use the for loop i value starts with a 0 from the first location or more clearly from the front location because front is always pointing to the 0th location front i is less than rare not less than or equals to sir y see suppose here it is elements up to fourth location rare is pointing to fifth location na? so we cannot access the element which is inside the rare location so less than rare up to here so less than rare and i plus plus i plus plus we are printing the elements printf percentage d slash n and here it is simply q of i the value we are printing simple we should move right so we should traverse or simply we should iterate from first location to nothing but from front location to less than rare location how many elements are there all the elements we are displaying simple thing so this is how to display the elements directly you can't first you have to check right q is empty or not if q is empty you can't perform any operation okay mainly we can't display the elements which are inside the queue now the last operation is a deletion operation deletion so deletion for example if front is equals to rare q is empty so by that time you can't delete or else or else so what we have to perform means first directly we are deleting this element we are deleting 10 we are printing directly printf deleted item is percentage d that is q of front that is q of front so what is that q of front q value q is pointing to this location next q of front means front is a zero na front is a zero front always pointing to zero only we can't disturb the location right front variable no need to disturb from starting to ending it is always pointing to zeroth location only so zeroth location so here it is 10 will be deleted deletion it is impossible to delete the information we have to overwrite the information that is so after saying that deleted that value 10 next what we have to do means we need to shift all the elements we need to shift all the elements how to shift same story using for loop using for loop we should start from the first location first location means what from front plus one location here it is here it is 
i value starts from 1 i is less than how many locations simply less than rare less than rare i plus plus i plus plus then how can we shift simply q of q of i value will be stored into q of i minus 1 or more clearly sir i will start with a 0 only then no problem then q of i plus 1 value will be stored into q of i q of i so that means this is q that means suppose initially i value 0 q of 0 plus 1 means what 1 the 1 value will be stored into q of 0 that is a 20 is shifted to here 20. Next i value will increase, i value become 1, here it is 1 is less than rare, rare value is a 5 and next one q of i plus 1, i plus 1 value means what, 1 plus 1 is a 2, 2 value will be stored into q of 1, 30 will come to here, 30, right next i value become 2, so 3 value will come to here, 40, next i value 4, 50 come to here, 50 so come to here next i value 5 sorry i value 4 but here it is a 4 is less than rare value 5 na so whenever we are writing like this this location will come to here this value because already 50 is a shifted no need to shift this one up to 4 only less than rare right here it is a rare value 5 so this is less than rare minus 1 rare minus 1. Now, 4 is less than 4 condition false because no need to shift the element to 50 simple thing. So, then what we have to do very simple finally, rare value is a 5 1 element deleted means rare value should be decreased by 1 rare is not pointing to the fifth location rare should pointing to the fourth location simply what we have to write rare minus minus simple after insertion rare plus plus after deletion rare minus minus and very very important concept this for loop shifting of elements very very important generally the people saying that after deleting the element from the front they will move the front value impossible we should not suppose to move the front value they should not suppose to move the front value then what we have to do what we have to do means always we have to shift the elements from first location to rare location all the elements we have to shift by one location towards a forward direction right towards forward direction this is how to perform insertion operation deletion operation and traverse operation in a queue okay so this is all about a queue abstract data type or queue data structure abstract data type or q data structure ok so all the operations how to perform the complete explanation about a q data structure ok so thank you thank you for watching for more videos please subscribe to naresh it channel thank you